Good afternoon, friends. I'd like to talk to you about numbers. This is lesson 18 for math. We're going to be matching and we're going to have extra. So this is what I'd like to begin with. Some review, some number review with you. Look up here at the cube. I'll show you the number and you say, I say, and then you say one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and whoops, excuse me, six, six. We just went through one through six. We can go even further with that when we go through 10, but we're not going to do that now. Let's review some of our subitizing. Remember, that's when we can see the dots and we know what the numbers are just by looking at them. So when we look at this, num this dot, we know automatically that there is one dot. How many dots? One dot. We don't need to count it because we can see that it is one dot dot. I won't go in order with this to see how well you recognize them. Ready? Look at it. Three dots. I see three dots. Can you say that? I see three dots. One, two, and three. You really don't need to count them either because you can see automatically that it is three dots. This is a little harder. Many of you know this already. Just by looking at the, the cube, you can tell that there are five dots on the cube. I see five dots. Say that. I see five dots. This is an easy one. How many dots do you see? Automatically, you could tell two. I see two dots. Last one. Four dots. I see four dots. One in each corner. I see four dots. That's subitizing. That's when we can look and tell what number we see by looking at them. So we reviewed our numbers, one through six. We reviewed our subitizing. Now I'd like to pretend with you. As you can see, I have a board up here. <coughs> and I have some seats. We're going to pretend that some bears are going to the movies. We're going to pretend these are bears. They're just cute, but we're going to pretend they're bears. You know how we pretend in housekeeping? Well, Miss O'Neill's going to pretend that these cubes are something else. So let's put one. Two, three, and four bears. Four bears are in chairs going to the moon. <clears throat> do we have any left? We certainly do. We have one chair, two chairs, three chairs, four chairs, five chairs, six chairs left. We only filled four of them. Now we're going to have more bears going to the movie. We have one, two, three, four sitting in movie seats. Now let's take five bears to the movie. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight bears are going to the movies. They're all seated in a chair. Now we're going to give them their tickets because they have to have tickets. And the man is going to come pick up their tickets from them in the chair. So we're going to put one ticket in, pretend tickets, two tickets, three tickets. Are you counting with me? Four tickets. Five to oh, oh, you can't see that one. Five tickets, 
six tickets, seven tickets, and eight tickets. We had enough tickets for each bear to hold one. But we still have two extra seats. Two extra seats. So we matched a ticket with each bear with two extra. Now let's do nine seats. Count with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to add one more. What are we adding? One more. One more bear, pretend bear, in a chair. But he needs a ticket, doesn't he? <clears throat> he needs one more ticket. Because everybody else has a ticket, right? So Neil get a ticket. <clears throat> for our one extra bear. <clears throat> Put his ticket in there. There we go. Okay. Now we have nine bears. Are there, <clears throat> are there enough seats for the nine bears? Yes, there are. We have nine bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and we have nine tickets and one extra chair there are enough seats for all the bears and one extra <clears throat>